this is Hans, and it's time for another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. Today we got one from Viet Cuisine. Uh, this is Sriracha Rice Noodle. It's a uh, soupless noodle. Sans soup. And uh, that's what we're doing today. Sounds interesting. I think uh, we found that one over at Asian... Evergreen Asian Market over in beautiful, I wouldn't go that far, Everett, Washington. Not, not, not a beautiful place. Alright, so let's steep this sucker. So we've got to add all the, all this stuff. Comes with a fork, not a folding fork, I must add. Okay. Only takes three minutes for the steepitude. There we go. Three minutes. Start. And uh, we're going to add in this sachet as we do the do. You need a Scissor. Turn it down out there, please, miss. Turn it down, please. Oh, my. Okay. Now I'm kind of wondering if this is actually supposed to be added in. It said... Do it at the end, but it seems kind of odd. Well, we'll see. I'm hoping it works out. I'm very curious about this one. It's a uh, Vietnamese variety. Looks like it's made for uh, sale in the U.S. market. I don't know, but yeah. Have a look. I've had one before. A fella named what's his name. I can't think of his name. That sucks, because he's a good good buddy of mine. But he came to my birthday party a few years ago. And I gave him a whole bunch of ramen. God. Well, sorry, dude. I know who you are. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, he gave me, like, I think it was a mushroom or a vegetable variety from this brand. And it was eh, not so great. But that's okay. I don't. I'm not. I'm not picky when it comes to that. But yeah, sriracha rice soupless noodle. Hey, hey. We'll see. Which one am I? I'm using that one. Okay. Okay. All right. I guess I should have. Huh. I'm debating my. Uh, garnish options. I was thinking I would use some seafood for it, but now I'm like, wait, you only thawed out a certain amount of seafood. Maybe I'll just do it anyways. Let me make sure this says drain. Drain off water. Oh, that was a fried garlic pack? Ow. Oh, that didn't look like fried garlic to me. That looked just like generalized vegetable. Well, hopefully it does well. We'll see. Uh, I don't have any fried garlic. Oh no, the ramen reader made a mistake. As, as someone named The, I shouldn't be making any mistakes. Okay, that's the word. I think it would have been crunchy though, and I like crunchy garlic. Okay, three. Here, come, come in. Why don't you come into my kitchen? There. Yeah. 
and yeah, what a crazy weekend this is going to turn out to be. We got building an office and wiring an office, and then we've got. Let's have an office, more of a workspace. And uh, what's the other thing we gotta do? Oh yeah, Easter. Sunday is Easter, and we're going to a special brunch. Brunch sounds interesting. Is that like, I, I don't know what that is. I, I don't know that I've ever technically gone and had a brunch. So what is that? Just before lunch, after breakfast? Kind of a, a melding of the two. So this looks really sloppy. We'll see how it goes. It's colorful and I like that. It smells kind of off-putting. But we'll see, it might be really good. All right. Yeah, it's got a funky scent to it, I will say that. But that doesn't mean anything. I've had stuff that smelled weird and then ended up tasting really nice. <laughs> Excuse me. Cheers. Very light. I expect this to have a much stronger flavor. I like the bits of garlic. Flavor is very muted. Kind of surprisingly so. I expected this to be like flavor splode. But this doesn't appear to be a flavor explosion. Mm. I'm gonna give it one more try. And like I feel like it needs a little extra mixing. It has a little bit of heat. Yeah. It seems like it just kind of it's got a lot of promise. It has way less heat than I would have expected. Like, hmm, I will say, those little bits of garlic are very nice, all right? And I appreciate them. But, uh,. Yeah. Need something. Um, yeah. We'll zoom in on that. Let Rotator do its thing. And there you go.
That's how it rolls here at Instant Noodle Recipe Time before 10 a.m. on a uh, Thursday. This is the next one you're going to see. This is 99 Ranch Jumbo Spicy Seafood Ramen. 99 Ranch Market is a place that I've been frequenting for years and get a lot of my supplies and stuff. That's where I love to get my mung bean sprouts because they'll last for 10 days. They've been around, they, you know, they get them early and they get big bags and it's cheap. So, yeah. Other than the grocery store here, which maybe you'll be lucky to get two days out of a bag of noodles and there's, or of uh, mung bean sprouts. And they go bad so quick. I don't care for that. Anyways, this has been Hans the Ramen Reader wishing you enjoy your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.